I gave a workshop here at SDI uh, entitled Spiritual Practices. Uh, spiritual Practices, a Path to Compassion. And many times people ask me, what is a spiritual practice? How do we know what spiritual practices are? And my answer is that for me, spiritual practices are anything we do that wake us up and keep us alive and refresh our spirits, renew our souls. So spiritual practices are very wide. They include <clears throat> practices of, our tra of different traditions, and they also include many other things, a broader range. And one of the ways in a workshop that I help people take a look at this is I invite them to go into pairs and then ask them the question, uh, what do you do that refreshes your spirit and nurtures your soul? And then they go back and forth. So one person will say, I garden, and the other person will respond, I swim. And the other person says, I spend time in silence. And somebody else, the other person says, I sing in the shower. And if we do that for three minutes, the room just fills up with possible spiritual practices. And people get that sense, which is there are so many ways to practice. It's not something that has to be done in an old way, although it might be, but there are many new ways to practice as well. And when I think of spiritual practices and we talk more about them, I put them into two categories, what I call off-cushion practices and on-cushion practices. And basically those are on-cushion practices are the more intentional practices, like going to worship, going to AA meetings, uh, coming to SDI conferences. They're quite intentional and take time and effort to do. Whereas off-cushion practices are those that happen spontaneously like singing in the shower, like um, taking a walk when you're tired, stopping and breathing and sighing, those things that we can do in the midst of our life at any time that refresh our spirits. I've found that many people realize that when that is available to them, their practice grows and they're able to practice and refresh their spirits in a variety of ways. And I believe that through practice, both on cushion and off cushion, we move toward compassion. And I think of compassion as a fruit of practice, uh, not a goal. A goal is something we set out in front of us and we strive toward, something that we make plans about, um, that we aim for. Now we can practice compassion, but I think a deeper compassion grows out of that river of compassion that is within us and that we can open to that and we begin to find ways to, in our practice, to open our hearts, open our eyes, open our hands in ways that bring compassion into the world and into our own lives. Because compassion needs to be for ourselves as well as for others and I believe that they feed into each other. The more compassion I feel for my neighbor, the more compassion I feel for myself. And the more I feel for myself, that compassion spreads out into the world. That we can't really have true compassion for ourselves or the world without going back and forth and having them at the same time. My hope in the teaching that I do is to open people's minds to a broader range of spiritual practices, helping them find the best way for them to practice, not the way they should practice, but the way that they organically long to practice. And some people will tell me that that's such a relief because they've tried to do a regular practice on cushion regularly and they find it very difficult to do. What they realize is that it's going against their own um, longings and their own desires. So I encourage people to jump around to let go of practices that no longer work with the true belief that when we open our hearts with compassion and we're able then to move into different spiritual practices which will then in turn lead us into compassion. An ending reading from a Korean Buddhist teacher about spiritual practice and compassion. Spiritual practice means having faith that there is great treasure within your mind and heart and then finding it. Learning to discover the treasure within you is the most worthwhile thing in the world. If you can put this into practice, you can live freshly with a mind open like the sky, always overflowing with compassion. What could be better than this? <laughs>